Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me for this webinar. I am pleased and blessed to have Seth Kniep on today, who is the founder of Just One Dime and is probably the most inspirational Amazon teacher that exists in the world today. He brings energy, knowledge, information. He teaches people how to succeed. And I got to say the best example I can think of to show you how energetic and how inspirational he is, is at the very end of their event last year, nobody left. People yeah. are hugging and kissing and shaking hands and no one was looking for the doorway because it's just that inspirational. Seth helps out. It's now thousands of people all over the country and all over the world do better on Amazon. So Seth, I'm so psyched to have you. I'm, I'm so pleased that I get to work with you because you inspire me. I mean, when I, when I leave your event, I'm inspired to do more. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Let's start, let's start talking about the event in LA, and I'm sure the conversation is going to take a lot of different tracks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So in Los Angeles, what we did is we got tired of the typical, predictable Amazon-type seller conferences where you keep seeing the same faces, the same people, and the same slideshows. So we went back last year after our first event, which we had over 500 people at, and they loved it. We Dude, did I'm going to interrupt you. Hold yeah. on a second. Now, yeah. this was the first event out of the box. Okay, yes. and it was over 500 attendees yep. and all psyched. Like, I heard nothing negative, which is very rare. You go to an event, you hear, oh, this person did the same shtick, or I already knew that. It was too complex. It was too elementary. All positive results out of the first Just One Diamond, over 500 people first time out of the box. Yeah, which is insane. And one thing we're doing this year is we're, we handpicked the speakers because we want people who specifically bring a level of excellence in a sub sub category like suspensions, like PPC ads, like Facebook, like Instagram for building your e-commerce empire. We didn't just want a speaker. We wanted people who know their craft, people who were doing it day in and day out. And so that's why we were very picky about who we selected. We felt like we had more freedom to get who we wanted this time because it's our second time. We have a lot of people asking to be there. And we are calling it build your e-commerce empire. So if you go in and you attend this event, you're not just going to get an insane amount of content, but you're going to network with some people who are millionaires. They're at this event at parties, uh, sharing phone numbers, talking, um, exploring, like it, it's going to be insane. We have a live Q and a panel. We have some surprises. Um, I'm excited. And you know, what's crazy CJ as the leader of the event, I have zero stress. Like literally, truly, I was just telling my wife the other day, I don't feel stressed, but I'm just like, how do you feel about it? I'm like, I just can't wait to be there. It's going to be so fun because I have a badass team who's pulling this off. A sick team. And also at the very end of this video, then I'm going to ask Seth to reveal at least one of his surprises that he's going to have <laughs> at this event in LA. I'm aware of it, but I've been sworn to utter secrecy under punishment of banishment. Okay. But at the end, at the end of this webinar, I'm going to ask you dead on to reveal at least one of the surprises. And I didn't warn Seth I was going to do this, but at the end, I'm putting your ass on the spot. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> all right. Okay. So it's all about building and building and freedom. Okay. Building and freedom. So why don't we talk about first, and I'm blessed to be invited there again. I mean, I'm psyched to be there and I'm bringing brand new content because that's part of the thing. You're bringing new content so, so that attendees don't get the same thing over and over again. So Seth, who is the first... Who's the first person you want to talk about that's going to come in and teach people how to do better, how to earn freedom? Money is just freedom. How do they earn their freedom? Yeah. So it's the real question is like, where do I start? Because there's like so many uh, people who are going to be there with their own expertise. So let me start with a guy by the name of Dan Rogers. Now, Dan Rogers, he is from South Africa. Uh, today, he lives in London. And this guy started with nothing. Like he literally, he had no sales on Amazon. He had no e-commerce knowledge when it comes to e-commerce or online or eBay or Amazon. And he slowly turned his life around by building an Amazon store. And what's unique about Dan is he doesn't just focus on, well, here's some hacks and tricks you can do to try to trick the system, which can be very risky. He actually shows you how to build a brand. So his topic is how to launch a product without any reviews and get it ranking. And he's doing this out of his experience. This is not theoretical knowledge. He's taking exactly what he's doing on Amazon. And that's one of the requirements is everyone who's teaching something, they have to be doing what they're teaching. 
And so he's teaching you guys out of his experience. I asked him the other day, I was like, how's it going? He's like, I got almost a hundred slides. I was like, dude, you have to whittle that down. I know you got a lot of content. You got to bring it down, man. So if you go to this event, and he's also a very engaging teacher. He's not like a, a drone that sits there and monotony. He's not like that. He's super engaging and precise. And here's the other thing I love, CJ. Each speaker will leave time at the end of their session to teach, to answer questions that people have that come up. Because questions are going to come up. So the idea is not just you walk away with a ton of knowledge, but if you have questions about how do I apply that knowledge, they're going to walk through that as well. Um, do you want me no, to? No, I also, I got to tell you, that's what I saw. That's what I saw in Vegas. Okay. I mean, yeah. I always stick around. I'm a huge people person. I'm huge at paying it forward and, and helping afterwards and, and giving free information out. But that's what was really unusual is that you had people who were sticking around who were, who had the same mindset. I mean, listen, we help out sellers every day for free. And that also results in people hiring us. And just one dime, the speakers had that same mentality, right? I mean, Ashland hadn't stuck around. Hickory, Hickory Flats stuck around. Tim Jordan was there. And nobody booked. Yeah. Everyone stayed, which I think was huge. I mean, it was like hours after the final bell had tolled and people were still hanging out, um, right. talking about sharing information. I mean, it was huge. And, and I, I love the fact you have people who've already done it and it works and yeah. they talk about how it works. And one, of the, and one of the reasons, CJ, I think that's so, you saw that people want to stay is because this is a core value of Just One Dime. My belief, and it's been this way for a long time, is doing it alone is not only lonely, but risky. But when you're doing it in community with other people who can pick you up when you're discouraged, who can give you tips and say, no, I've been there. Here's what works. Here's what doesn't work. That's the kind of culture that Just One Dime has created. Like these people are on fire. I feel like you could take down the challenge no matter what and totally crush it. And going back to what you said about how it works, here's why it works. The people who are teaching have made millions of mistakes. They have failed over and over again, myself included. And that's why we can teach you because we not only have we failed, we've succeeded very well as well. We've turned multiple people into millionaires by now since we started. It's the people who understand the pros and the cons. In other words, they've taken this journey like, oh, don't do this, but do that. They're going to give you Imagine, you know, you're in a battle and you're in the foxhole. No one can explain what it's like to be in a foxhole with bullets going by your head until you've actually been there. So to be next to someone who's been there, you're going to follow that person, not the theorist who sits there and writes, oh yeah, let me build a course and I'm a guru. And no, these are people who are doing it day in and day out. And that's what I love about it. Dude, I got to tell you something. I was just in an event in, in Miami. I went down there for my boring legal bar association meetings. I'm a leader of a group about business torts where businesses sue each other and that kind of stuff. And while I'm down there, a seller's like, hey, are you going to the 10X program, right? And I did, I, I found it awesome. I found it absolutely awesome. And yeah. one of the speakers said that around their dinner table, like I always ask my kids, and what was a great part of your day, right? Mm -hmm. This person's dad said, what did you fail at today? Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, that's fucking great. Because by failing, you bounce back and you overcome and by other people explaining things that didn't work, you don't have to make the same mistakes. Exactly. So I think that's a huge thing. I mean, there's nothing embarrassing about saying like what fails, okay, so people can learn from your mistakes and not repeat them, and also learn from how you resolved them. That's a huge thing for sellers, that you don't have to do the same thing that someone else already failed at. You know, you may choose to try it a different way, right. but by learning what didn't work, you learn what also works. And that's huge, that's honesty everybody's had failures and mistakes. Yeah. One Everybody. Of guys, one of the guys speaking there, CJ, um, when I was at Amazon's meeting at their headquarters, and I was one of 10 people who was invited to be there, and I did sign an NDA, so I'm not going to disclose what happened, but I'm able to say I was there. What their goal was to really collaborate with some high-end sellers and people who have influence on large communities and see what they could do better. It was an extremely amazing meeting, and Amazon was very, very humble. I asked a lot of questions and let us speak very openly about what we love and about what we think needs to change. Two seats sitting down for me was a guy by the name of Joe Giacconi. If you Google him, guys, you'll see him. When this guy started on Amazon, he went from zero to three million in six months. And I was like, I have to have this guy. I have to have him speak at this event. So later we talked and became friends very quickly. And I said, Joe, I need you to show them how you did it. No ivory tower theories, show them the steps. For the last several, all we've been doing, CJ, is building 
a step-by-step -step methodology that he used that people can apply to their Amazon stores. He is going to be there. You guys will have a chance to talk to this guy as well. So what's great about it is that you're learning from people who really did it. Street credibility, not esoteric planning, okay? Of people who've actually done it and who are willing to share. If you take a step back, there are, there are people who get to meet at Amazon. Seth is one of them. So he's actually been in their office, okay? I'm dying to get in there, okay? <laughs> uh, I get to cross-examine their people like every month or so, which I learn a lot by cross-examining them. To actually be part of their system of making Amazon better, right, is huge. That they had enough respect for Seth, and Seth had enough respect for them that they were able to meet together. So to me, that's tremendous. Tell me about someone else you, that you're really psyched that's coming there and save that surprise for the end. At the end of this video, <laughs> I'm going to squeeze you. I don't want you to violate your NDA, but take you down. <laughs> I love how you put that. It's awesome. So, guys, if you have watched Amazon closely for the last 10 years, Amazon does not speak at conferences except their own, which is called the Boost Conference. So Amazon actually invited me and they said, Seth, will you speak at our next Boost conference? Now, of course, that's a great opportunity for me, but I decided to leverage that. I said, I'll make you a deal. Let me give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I said, everything, everything you need to know about business, you can learn from the Godfather, okay? Exactly. Everything. It's true. It's true. It's insane. I said, I will speak there if you will speak at my event. And they said, done, let me see what we can do. Now it took a lot of time. They had to go through their legal department, their um, uh, social media present, I forget what you call it, department, like how they're perceived, their brand. And there was a lot of going back and forth, but we finally sealed it. They're going to be there. And not just one Amazon leader, not just two, not just three, but freaking four Amazon leaders, the leader of Amazon brand registry, the person in charge of that program who helped to build it is gonna be there teaching you guys. And this is insane. Amazon doesn't go to conferences except their own. So they're actually gonna be, and they're not just gonna teach an entire session and show you about brand building on Amazon. They're also gonna do live Q and A. So you can ask right, them Let's questions. take a step back. Let's <laughs> take a step back. Seth is a thousand percent right, okay? The last time Amazon staff was involved in any domestic event, as far as I'm aware, was SCO, S-C-O-E, the online conference, the seller's conference for online entrepreneurs. Then they sold it to this fantastic woman named Rhonda who ran really great events and Amazon pulled out and kind of, in my opinion, screwed her over by pulling out and that's it. Then they stopped going to events, okay? That was the surprise I was saving for the end that <laughs> Seth has people for, I didn't know it was four people, dude. I think that is huge. That, that, that wasn't from, a surprise, CJ. I was going to honor your request. Then we got more stuff to talk <laughs> about. But <laughs> in order to learn how to sell best on Amazon, you need to read and learn from Amazon. Like their leadership principles are killer. And yeah. Seth's actually going to have people from the company there to speak. And unlike Boost, Seth is going to have some air conditioning. Yes, absolutely we will. I promise it'll be comfortable. We have networking parties. And guys, isn't it just sitting in a classroom learning? I want you to know that. There are networking parties. You get to interact with people, talk to them, ask them questions. There's going to be a dance party. There's going to be an 80s cover band there. Like we're making this really, really special. There's going to be an opportunity to have a VIP dinner on a ship, ship uh, sailing through the Pacific Ocean. And like we have special things planned there that I will not share in this interview. I will not share these things in this interview. CJ will not ask me to share these things. <laughs> All right, what's the next? Tell me the next thing. So we have a killer guy who went from zero to millions of dollars very quickly right. without getting suspended. We yep. have four people from Amazon coming in. Okay, like I am never missing this. dude. I'm gonna be there from beginning to end. Okay, <laughs> give me one more thing and then we'll get to the surprises. Absolutely. So Brianna Green is going to be there. And the reason I love Brianna Green several reasons. One, when you guys meet Brianna Green, she's the kind of person who you would want to have over for coffee. You would want to spend time and hang out with her because she's so freaking down to earth and sincere. This lady used to be a school teacher. She turned her income into multi-millions doing print on demand, things like Amazon merch, selling through Etsy, and she never touches the product. So if this is the product she's selling, she never touches it. And one of her missions is to speak encouragement and hope into mothers 
who are at home, it's a value to them, but they all want to generate more income to help the family. In fact, some of them, some of her students have actually made enough money where their husband could leave his job and start working with them from home. And they're building a business together without ever touching a product. So you don't need a warehouse. You don't need a garage to store inventory. It's all happening online. And what she's going to show you guys is how she does it. You will love Brianna, you guys. This lady understands Amazon and she actually does it and she does it well. And she has a huge following that loves what she does. So I'm super excited. I can't wait. I don't know if you've met her or not, but I want you to meet her. Incredible person. I have to add one more, guys. And CJ is going to be there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you, Brianna. Brianna is incredible, okay? Because, yeah. listen, there are tons of people who have great knowledge. There are tons of people who are inspirational and tons of people who might share. Seth brings these people together who have all these three qualities, okay, that are really smart, very personable, educational, and inspirational because this is an inspirational business. You have to, like, live and breathe it to be successful, and that's what you're getting. So you're getting education, inspiration, a support team who are willing to stick around and share with you. And I think that's, like, the magic of, of just one dime, yeah. the absolute magic of it. You're not going to get this at a Vegas show. You're not, getting, you're not getting people from Amazon there. But you head out to Los Angeles in March. You are getting this at the Just One Dime Ecom. And this whole thing about building a brand, build, it builds an asset. You own it. You own that intellectual property. That's what I'm going to try and get people to do, to teach them and do it with them, how they can do it themselves, build an asset that they own, become platform agnostic while they're killing it on Amazon and have Amazon come to you like Amazon came to Seth. Yeah, absolutely. It's about building value. And I just want to take a moment really quick, CJ, to encourage everyone watching. I am not some guru with a course who, can who will tell you three little steps and you become rich. That's not me. I have four children. I am married. I was broke. I was in debt. I was depressed. I was tired of political, political BS that went on at my job. And I decided I have to do something different. You wanna know how much money I had to start with you guys? A single freaking dime. And I'm gonna tell you guys the whole story, all the good and all the brokenheartedness of that story, how I turned that into multi-million dollar businesses, products and services, like both. And it was extremely hard, but I would not exchange it for anything. Um, and listen, I got a blended family with four also, and it's a lot of stress when things are down, okay? Oh, yeah. To oh, yeah. take the chance to build from being broke to where you are today and the number of people around the world that you help, okay? I had a similar experience. Um, I didn't go totally broke, knock on wood, but I was damn near close after yeah. going through a divorce and a god-awful custody fight and had a pivot. And most entrepreneurs go broke. Milton Hershey went broke. Ford went broke, okay? It's part of, of what we do and how we learn. Hopefully you can avoid it. It yeah. sucks, but it's also inspiring, yeah. right? To know that you can fall on your face and it's about how you get up, yep. how you pivot, and you're gonna get the inspiration. You're gonna learn where to put the perspiration, right? And I can't, I cannot endorse just one dime enough because it's just tremendous education and inspiration. Absolutely tremendous. All right, we're going on a bit. Give me a surprise. I was thinking the Amazon speakers was gonna be the surprise at the end. This surprise is related to Amazon, but it is unique. We have a special guest who's gonna be attending just one dime. She is the head of all sales for Amazon. She is coming in as a special guest. She's gonna be there to watch this event and that's all I can say. <laughs> all right, so you do not want to miss this, you guys. They're like this is you these kind of opportunities, they don't happen every year. It's insane. She's the head of all sales. I've actually it's impossible. It's impossible to multiply zero, but the other events have nobody from Amazon there. Okay. Yes. Seth has now four, and I think one of them or the fifth one is gonna be this 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 top, top, top dog who's okay. gonna be there for you. It is a, you can't miss this event, okay? You can't miss this event. It's huge, it's inspirational, it's in a great location. It has so many, uh, so many team members and a camaraderie that you don't get any place else that I've seen. 
So Seth, give us the details, give us the website so I can then plug it all in here so people know where to go, know how to sign up. Yep, absolutely. If you guys go to justonedime.com, you'll see it. Or if you want the direct link, justonedime.com slash ecom. This is called ecom 2019. The whole idea is building your e-commerce empire. And again, J-U-S-T, just, O-N-E, not the digit, dime, D-I-M-E, dot com, justonedime.com or justonedime.com slash ecom. You'll see it there. You can register. We're getting a ton of signups every single day. This is not some marketing move, what I'm about to say. We do have limited seating. So if you want to go, you need to go fast because it will close. So if you guys want to get there, you need to sign up before they fill out because we have limited space in the hotel. All right, everybody. Last thing I want to close with one. I mean, I can't endorse it enough. I've already said it. But last thing I want to close with is, is helping others. Okay. Helping others. If you buy on Amazon, like most of us do, if you're shopping on Amazon and you're not using Amazon smiles, you are leaving money on the table for worthy charities. Okay. So everyone who hears any one of my webinars, any one of my speeches around the world, I always end with this. If you're shopping on Amazon, you got to use the Amazon Smile program. I think it's smile.amazon.whatever. Google it, log on to Amazon Smiles. My charity is the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation, T-Y, Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. My, my great friend, Lou Campbell, and his incredible wife, Cindy, um, turned the tragedy of losing their son, Ty, to brain cancer into triumph by creating this foundation. All the money does is it goes to finding better treatments and God willing a cure to pediatric cancers, okay? I mean, it's torturous what these kids go through. The treatment sucks and there's just not enough money in the research for it, okay? So please, if you're shopping on Amazon, use Amazon Smiles. If you don't have your own charity, please pick the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. Seth, I can't wait to be in LA with you. I'm gonna be there from beginning to end. If I'm not speaking, I am studying, taking notes and absorbing. It's gonna be an incredible event with multiple people from Amazon speaking there. So awesome, dude, thank you for being on. Can I add one more thing? I think you're gonna really like it. Okay, so one more thing. First of all, I love how that family took tragedy and turned it into opportunity. I want you guys to know who are attending Ecom, for all the sales, 5%, goes to an orphanage in Ibu, China, where we go once a year and now soon twice a year to teach people sourcing. We're creating an Amazon store sourcing from Ibu, the Fuchian marketplace, the largest small commodity marketplace on earth. It, it's so huge. It would take you six years if you spent five minutes in every booth. That's how big it is. And all the proceeds from that also go to this orphanage. And it's the same store we use to teach people how to do PPC on Amazon. So I want you guys to know, you're not just going to educate yourself. You're investing in children who have no parents who are in Yiwu, China, which is a massive city in China. And so I just want to encourage you guys to know that. And I thought you would appreciate that because I know giving back is huge to you, CJ. I, I, I think it's vital. I think what goes around comes around. You put out good vibes. You put out good energy. It comes back to you. It makes you feel right. good. And even in down times, when you look back, you say, you know what? I know that tens of thousands of dollars went to the orphanage. I know tens of thousands of dollars went to the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. You know you did something good. You know you helped, you paid it forward, and it will come back in spades. So right. awesome. I, I, I love that you guys are doing that. Thank you. And, yeah. and awesome, everyone. Just one dime, Seth Kniet, okay? Don't miss it. Los Angeles, March 8th to 10th, right? Yep, you got it. All right. Awesome. Thanks for being on, Seth. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you, CJ.